the weather is a really important part of everyday life for many people and when it comes to fairly extreme weather as we're having today a lot of our, a lot of us are really interested in how bad it is and how bad it's going to get so you can see it's absolutely pouring down with rain at the moment this is the tail end of a cyclone which is some distance from here but um, we're getting the after effects of it we've had 150 millimeters of rain in the last two days and obviously we're getting a lot more today to add to it so I thought I'd take this opportunity just to talk about a really uh, useful topic that you can adopt in your classroom for teaching primary students and that is the weather itself and specifically rain and measuring rainfall now rain of course is a liquid and so we might if we didn't know better we might assume that we'll measure the rain in liters because that's how we measure liquids but of course that depends on the area of land that the rain is falling on and so you can't just say this is the number of liters of rain that have fallen without saying over a certain area so one thing I like to do is to do that sort of calculation and say well on your house block or on the school grounds perhaps how much water actually fell and uh, the thing that I've been surprised with when I've done that is it's amazing how much has fallen and if you had to buy this much water it would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars because obviously water has a cost with it so this free rain that we get free water from the sky um, is it an incredibly valuable resource anyway on to measuring the rain this is one design it's quite a common one in Australia for measuring the amount of rain uh, and of course what we're measuring is the depth it's got a funnel design so if I can balance the umbrella without getting wet there's a funnel at the top which has a nice wide opening it's about 10 centimeters across small opening in the bottom of course flows into this tube and inside is a smaller tube and this has a multiplying effect so because of the size of the funnel compared to the size of the tube one millimeter of rain falling through the funnel becomes one centimeter of depth in the small tube so there are markings on this tube that go up to 26 at the very top and that is 26 millimeters of rain even though the tube itself is 10 times as high as that so that allows us to measure even quite small depths like half a millimeter is not difficult to measure with an arrangement like that so if you have an example of a rain gauge that you can show your students you can investigate that with them um, if you were to measure with just a straight sided cylinder like a, an empty tin can or something like that you could show the students um, how difficult it is to actually measure the depth without some way of multiplying it in a form like this so let me just put that down so there's quite a range of topics that you can investigate with your students to do with the amount of rain that's falling as I said once you've measured the depth then you could multiply that by the area knowing that one millimeter of rain over one square meter will give us one liter of rain so there's a nice simple conversion that we can do and the other thing we can add to that is one liter of water weighs one kilogram so we can actually work out how heavy that amount of water is and be very glad that this amount of rain falling isn't falling in one big lump because it will be too heavy okay so that's it for now I'm going to go inside out of the, the rain I wish you well with this topic with your students